baseball fans, welcome to the 2020 Travel Ball Select Elite 25 postseason rankings powered by Baseball Youth. That's right, Travel Ball Select and Baseball Youth all in one rankings. I'm Anthony Grossi with Athletic Sports Group, and I'm joined today by TBS President Rick Goff. And Rick, we announced TBS joining the Athletic Sports Group family a couple of weeks ago. Let me officially welcome you and everyone out there connected to TBS. We are really excited to merge our annual postseason rankings, and even more importantly, we're thrilled to have TBS as a new part of everything ASG has to offer the youth and travel ball space. Thanks, Anthony. It's great to be under the same roof, and I'm excited to continue building TBS with the help of athletics and vice versa. We're going to dive into our postseason rankings today, and it's important to mention that the 2021 TBS Nationals will be moving to the Elizabethtown Sports Complex June 15th through the 20th, not too far from where we're standing today in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. For years, the TBS Nationals has featured elite level play in the 8U through 13U age divisions, and I'm looking forward to amping up the event even more next summer with the help of athletics. Rick mentioned the high level of play annually at the TBS Nationals, which is a perfect segue to review how this year's postseason rankings were determined. Rick, why don't you walk us through how these rankings came to be? This year's process was much more difficult than previous years, given the challenges presented by COVID-19. Some of the big challenges teams faced this year were state-mandated travel restrictions and or missing key players throughout the summer. Given those constraints, TBS and Baseball Youth then reviewed performances in high-profile national tournaments, overall records, records against D1 opponents, head-to-head -head competition, and layered in the important eye test, as well as perspectives and opinions of elite-level coaches around the nation to rank the top 25 clubs in the 10U, 11U, 12U and 13U age divisions. Plus one neat addition for this year's postseason rankings is 25 teams who are on the bubble and almost broke into the top 25. That's right, and that's exactly where we're going to start. Our 11U postseason rankings are brought to you by Award Center, an outstanding partner of Athletic Sports Group. I want to introduce you guys to another member of our team, Director of Baseball Youth, Jamie Valvano. That's right, Rick. Award Center is a terrific partner and sells top quality awards, crystal, acrylic, plaques, trophies, medals, corporate awards, advertising specialties, and unique gifts. Whether you're recognizing an individual, a team, or a department, Award Center has the perfect award for you. All artwork and customizations are done directly in their offices, which gives them even more flexibility to make sure they deliver your order on time with guaranteed satisfaction. Award Center is the only award store that can help you create the perfect custom award to really wow those crowds at your upcoming awards presentation. Since 1983, Award Center has been committed to quality, but more importantly, they are committed to you. All right, here we go. The 25 teams from the 11U age division who ended up on the bottle in alphabetical order were Aces, Outlaw Elite, Apex Baseball, Arizona National Baseball Academy, The Braves from Van Nuys, California, Gator Ball Sap, GSSA Elite, HBPA Pence, I Am United, Indiana Bulls Black, the Iowa Stars, Kennesaw Generals, Line Drive Black, Lubbock Raiders Gibson, Michigan Bulls, Mojo Baseball Gold, and MS Yankee Silver. Omaha Tigers Black, Park Sharon Nationals Piro, Perfect Timing FTSM Adcock, Remix Rip City, Tampa Elite, Texas Matrix, TG Diamondbacks Eastside Patterson, Top Notch Elite, and WFBA Hammerheads. Congrats to all the Bubble Squads. We'll be keeping a close eye on you guys as we head into the 2021 season. Okay, without further delay, let's jump right into our TBS Elite 25 postseason rankings powered by Baseball Youth for the 11U age division. At number 25 from Rochester, Michigan, it's the Motor City Hit Dogs. And at 24, Central Storm from St. Louis, Missouri. Your number 23 ranked squad is from Oldsmar, Florida, the Kangaroo Court Ruse American. And at 22, is Team 24 Gamecocks Ashley from York, South Carolina. Anthony, here's a great example of a squad who finished in our honorable mention list last year. Started out this season with an incredible 31 record and finds itself in the top 25 in 2020. At 21, from Las Vegas, Nevada, is LVR. LVR tested itself a bunch this year, playing up against 12U competition and went 16 and eight in those contests. Number 20 from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the Traction Canes Black. Coming in at 19, from Scottsdale, Arizona, the Scottsdale Dirtbags Black. And at 18, from Jacksonville, Florida, the FCA Blue Cause Lucas. FCA were the USSA Elite World Series quarterfinalists, and at one point this season won 20 straight games. 
Up next at 17 is the Oklahoma Fuel from Edmond, Oklahoma. And at 16, from not too far down the road from us, the Southern Madison Sluggers from Berea, Kentucky, who like LVR back at 21, played up against 12 U teams 18 times this year, winning 14 of those games. 15th in our postseason rankings is the LB21 squad down from Laredo, Texas. Following LB21 at 14 is the Parkland Pokers, arguably the best team name in our top 25 from Parkland, Florida. And at 13 from Allen, Texas is NTX Eagles. NTX landed at 13 thanks to its USSSA Elite World Series runner-up finish during a stretch where it beat two teams that ended up in our 11U Top 10 and who you'll be learning more about here shortly. Moving on to number 12 from Miami, Florida, the Elite Squad National. And finishing 11th is MVP Hustle Ruiz from Norwalk, California. Rick, we've made it to our top 10 for the 11U age division in our 2020 TBS Elite 25 postseason rankings powered by Baseball Youth. And speaking of Baseball Youth, we wanted to give you a quick look at BY's All-American Games, which take place over late summer and Christmas break in destination cities like Reno, Nevada, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Orlando, North Florida, and Ocean City, Maryland. The All-American Games feature some of the best individual players from around the nation. If you'd like to nominate a player, visit BaseballYouth.com today. Congrats again to the 25 bubble squads as well as our 25 through 11 in our 11U postseason rankings. Let's proceed to our top 10. At number 10 for Matthews, North Carolina, a squad that went 17 and 8, playing up against 12U competition, the SBA Futures. At number 9, calling Houston, Texas home, Sidious USA. Anthony Sidious were the South Texas Super NIT champs this season, as well as the USSSA Elite World Series quarterfinalists. To our 8th ranked squad, another standout team from Matthews, North Carolina, the SBA Nationals. At number 7 is the Texas Florida Canes Elite from Parkland, Florida. And at 6, another MVP Hustle team from Norwalk, California. This time, it's MVP Hustle Garcia. Leading off our top 5 from Fort Worth, Texas, Texas Bombers Elite. As part of a high-flying season, Texas Bombers Elite made it all the way to the quarterfinals of the Perfect Game National World Series. At number four from Buford, Georgia, Dingers Athletics. An outstanding 45-6-3 record this season to go along with finishing third at our TBS Nationals, plus making it to the semifinals at the PG National World Series and the quarterfinals at the USSSA Elites World Series. Into our top three, Banditos Black from Tomball, Texas. Banditos Black finishes runner-up at the TBS Nationals and during the event beat number seven, Texas Florida Canes, number 10, SBA Futures, and number 14, Parkland Pokers. The number two ranked squad in our 11U postseason rankings is from West Palm Beach, Florida, the Phipps Park SF Bulldogs. The Bulldogs were U-Trip Elite World Series semifinalists and finished as runner-up at the PG National World Series. And your number one ranked squad in 11U is Stars Futures Baseball from Gainesville, Virginia. Stars Futures Baseball was extremely deserving of the number one spot after pulling off an impressive double by winning both the TBS Nationals and the USSSA Elite World Series this season. We caught up with Stars Future Baseball head coach Paul Colangelo and asked him about his team's stellar year. Well, you know, the focus is really on the kids and, you know, the Stars program in general is all about development. And we believe in really focusing on the, the technical side of the game, you know, playing the game the right way. And, you know, being number one is, a, you know, obviously a, a product of the hard work and effort that these kids put in, you know, and, and coaching these kids, you know, we're surrounded with great coaching staff, you know, former major leaguer Mike Colangelo, former major leaguer Juan Rivera. I mean, guys who have played the game at a highest level. And really what they're trying to do is take that knowledge and instill it in these kids. And that's one of the things I think we do really well, which is play hard, play the game the right way, compete, compete for every pitch. And I think when you do that, you know, good results happen. And I think that's what happened to us this summer in a very difficult year, I think, for everybody. And, um, you know, we, we, we were fortunate to, to win two of the you know, top tournaments in the country as a result of that. Great job to all 50 teams who are part of our 11U postseason rankings and especially to Stars Futures Baseball. Congratulations to our 11U standout squads. 
all the teams who appear in the 11U postseason rankings will receive an automatic invite to next summer's TBS Nationals at Elizabethtown Sports Complex right outside Louisville, Kentucky, June 15th through the 20th. If you think your team has what it takes to play against this elite group at the TBS Nationals, head over to tbsnationals.com and fill out the request for invite form. Good luck continuing to improve during the offseason, and we can't wait to see you back in action in 2021.